All right, y'all, today we're gonna see the best way to catch some speckled trout, baby. We're catching some fat boys. We're at Yogo and his dad. They're showing us how to catch it. Woohoo! That's a huge trout! Holy moly! y'all today our buddy Diogo ripping the boat out it's October temperature 41 degrees so you know that ocean water is getting a little cooler and that turns on the bite baby we're gonna be targeting some speckled trout some red drum and even some striper there's some schoolies in the bay so hopefully we can get hooked up on all three get the grand slam maybe even some flounder too I haven't caught speckled trout all year it's my favorite fish and I haven't caught one today better be the day baby we did a lot of research I bought Every lure you can buy. And that ain't no joke. Don't let Rachel watch. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, don't lie. We're going to catch some trout today, baby. Woo Got the breakfast of champions. Fried chicken biscuit. Hopefully it doesn't come at me on the water. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Lordy. <laughs> Jump and dump. All right, baby. Woo So we first started off using some red jig heads, about an eighth of an ounce to a quarter of an ounce, with some gulp curly tail white grubs, and that was working really well. We were just jigging them up and down, casting them out, bouncing it, bouncing it, bouncing it, reeling it, bouncing, bouncing, reeling a little bit. And then on the drop, you'd usually get a bite, and we'd set the hook and reel them out. Oh, I got it. Oh, <laughs> good yoga. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> there we go, babe. I was uh, throwing it downstream and uh, jigging it up every like two seconds. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> jigging it with the white grub. <laughs> Dude, here's the setup. Love that. Hey. Yoga's gonna start this video. <laughs> Look what he got. <laughs> Another one. Look at that red jig head white grub. Diogo said it. Best bait. Best bait. No. Best lure in the world. <laughs> Diogo was having a lot of luck catching a whole bunch like that. Smaller ones and then we even got a bigger one at the end of the day. Which you'll see coming up. The next technique we were using was just kind of floating with the current our whole boat and setting out like six or seven lines with some of the gulp and then throwing out popping corks with voodoo shrimp. Uh, underneath it and some live bait. So that worked really well because we were just slowly going over those potholes that we found in the sand. And so they were just sitting in those potholes, looking up and attacking the bait right away. All right, we're going in. All right. Oh, dude, it's a beast. Oh, that's a gator. That's a gator. Good. We were just trolling that bad boy. Holy moly. <laughs> That's Back a gator, dude. I gotta say, man. That's Luke's fish. Yeah, it is Luke's fish. <laughs> well, hey, someone had to get to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Dude, that's nice. What was hitting the boat, man? Oh, it's a red drum. <laughs> <laughs> What's the slot on that? 18? I don't know if that's 18. <laughs> Go Luke! Booyah! Same tactics work for drum as they work for speckled trout, baby. We're looking for the ridges in the bottom, looking for grass, looking for potholes. And you'll find them together, baby. Look at that. It's got three spots. Three spot. Woohoo! A little short. Gonna say bye to the little guy. We got some cool red. Right? <laughs> All right, off the back, we got our own little kind of method we just made up. We got a couple popping corks out there with voodoo shrimp and real shrimp on them. And we're just kind of drifting. We just have those off the back, just drifting with it. And they've been producing today. So take that tip if you're drifting. Might as well have more lines in the water, baby. Just throw those popping corks out. <laughs> Oh, the tactic works again. Uh, I see it. I see color. The tactic works again, baby. Voodoo shrimp. Get yourself some voodoo shrimp. This stuff's gold, man. This stuff's gold. I 
can't hold that guy. Hey. We're trolling, oh, baby. We learned. We learned how to troll. Just going. How many knots were, you, were we going at, Diogo? 1.8. 1.8 knots. Mark it. Quarter ounce jig head. Boom. Oh my gosh, dude. We are that just was sweet. <laughs> Here we go. Too small. We'll toss them back. We got to get some big ones soon. Just trolling out the back, baby. New tactic. <laughs> Cut bait. It's a dinker, but hey. They're so pretty. We'll take them all day. <laughs> Their skin's so soft. Look at them. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> we found the honey hole. We don't let them back. Right there. <laughs> oh, dude, we're about to get slammed by them. Species count, baby, right on the schoolies. Ooh. Multiply that by three, and we got ourselves a keeper. Got a schoolie, baby. So the reason we had such a successful fishing day is because we were in the right spot. We were in the edge of a bay, sort of tucked behind a stretch of land. In that stretch of land, there's kind of some slack water, and that's where the fish were holding. Where we were fishing, there were ridges and valleys in the bottom of the bay, and that's where the fish would be hiding. They'd be kind of hiding in these potholes as we were going over them. We tried flat land earlier in the day, and that wasn't really producing any, so when we moved here, drove up to the mouth of the bay, and just floated back down. That's when we were having our most success. Just as we were Oh, about yes, up. yes. Oh, yeah. 14, 15. 15. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta go hooked up. Alright, Jack, you're ready. <laughs> that's a huge girl! Holy moly! That's a big <laughs> 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 Jig for trout, baby. That's all there is to it. Jigging for trout. This is why you gotta come out. You gotta wake up in the morning. <laughs> you gotta get the meat, baby. I have to send it to him. Got him on the live shrimp. Caught it. Cast that this morning. Woohoo! Let's get him in back in the cooler. Use those tips and tricks, and you're gonna get some meat in the boat. I'm gonna process these guys real quick, and uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Diogo with the biggest fish of the day, early. It's the one Boom. up here. Look at those. Gosh. Diogo smoked them today. That was our day. We obviously caught a whole bunch of different species. We got the striper, red drum, and the speckled trout that we wanted to catch. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and if this was of any help, Please like and subscribe, it would really help us out. Catch y'all next time.